In this video lecture, I'll be discussing introduction to vector analysis. At the end of this chapter, you should be able to evaluate line integrals, surface integrals, and people integrals. Transform line integrals into double integrals using Gaines theorem. Convert surface integrals into people integrals using the Stokes theorem. Vector integral calculus may be considered as an extension of integral calculus to integral over curved surfaces and solids. Integral over curves is called line integrals. Integral of surfaces may include double integrals and integral over solids involve people integrals. For example, the Green's theorem will transform line integrals into double integrals or vice versa. The Stokes theorem may be used to convert line integrals into surface integrals and vice versa. Transforming different integrals into one another may simplify problems involving potential uh, theories such as oceanography and geomagnetism. In electromagnetism, also in fluid flow. Let's have first a review on uh, some vector operations, basic vector operations. Let's start with the dot product. Dot product is also known as a scalar product because uh, performing the operation will give you uh, a scalar or a real number. So given uh, vectors a and b Okay, so the dot product is obtained by taking the product of the magnitude. Okay, this is the magnitude of okay, A and B multiplied by uh, cosine theta. Where theta is the angle between, uh, between the two vectors. So let's say this is your vector A and then vector B so this is the angle between okay between A and B and another another way of getting the dot product is by taking the sum of the uh, products of the respective components okay example we have uh, two vectors a and b we find the angle between uh, the two vectors okay but we get first the that product using the uh, second formula that is taking the sum of the products of the respective components so 2 times 1 plus 3 times negative 3 negative 4 times 8 will give you negative 39 okay and then we get the uh, the magnitude of the of vector a okay which is the square root of the product of the squares of the respective components okay so this is the magnitude of b okay and then uh, we know that uh, a that product of a and b is okay a b cosine theta this is the absolute value okay, or the magnitude and then solving for cosine theta okay so we just cross multiply so this is that product multiplied by the product of their magnitude so substituting this is negative 39 square root of 29 square root of 74 then get the arc cosine of 
the value here will give you the uh, the angle between uh, vectors A and B and then for the cross product okay, it's the, it's, it is defined as follows so that is uh, the product of their magnitude multiplied by sine theta and a unit vector so cross product is a vector okay and then the unit vector here tells you the direction of the cross product so remember that I, uh, if this is the plane of a and b okay this is the angle between A and B. The cross product is the vector that is uh, perpendicular. So this is the this is the direction uh, of the cross product. So this is your cross product. Okay. This is your A cross B. So that is always perpendicular to the plane of A and B. And Okay, that is obtained by uh, evaluating the determinant okay, of this 3 by 3 matrix. The first row contains the uh, components of the first vector followed by the components of the second vector and then the orthogonal unit vectors. Okay, and then apply uh, cofactor expansion to get your A cross B. So let's have another example so from the previous example let's find the cross product okay of a and b okay so you're given a 2 3 negative 4 uh, and then in the orthogonal form or in terms of the unit orthogonal unit vectors i j k that would be 2 i plus 3 j minus 4 k and then 1 negative 3 8 is i negative 3 j plus 8 k and then apply the definition so starting with components of A, components of B and then the orthogonal unit vectors ok so this is positive I so delete delete ok 3 times 8 minus uh, minus 3 times negative 4 will give you 12 and then minus J delete delete 16 and then negative 4 times 1 will give you uh, 16 plus 4, 20 minus here and then negative 6 minus 3 so give, that gives you negative 9 so this is the cross, uh, cross product now if you want to get the magnitude of the cross product since that is a vector ok so we simply get the uh, square root okay, of the squares of the components so 12 squared okay, uh, negative you may disregard the sign if you want ok we square here plus ok negative 9 quantity squared okay so you may use your calculator to get to get the magnitude 